What's good, YouTube land? Never a collector here. Uh, part two of my look at the Power of the Primes Terracons. We're looking at the one I would rather look at last, but I really don't have a choice. It's Hunger. First off, I love that name. It's so just generically evil. It's <laughs> Not even just evil, it's weird. Like, Hunger. You can tell. Because his name has three R's. So here he is in his packaging. You've got his alt mode, everything inside, logos and things and stuff, and blah, blah, blah. Choose your prime, blah, 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 blah. Picture of Abominus. Ooh, cross cells. Ravenous Terracon leader and stuff. You can barely see on the bottom. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to get them open. Alright, so here's Hunger in his two-headed dragon mode, I guess. Whatever it is. It looks really cool. And, uh, here are the inst instructions. Instructions. Get a good shot of that. And here's the collector's card that I believe I completely forgot about for Blackwing. Hunger. Prima Hunger. Fights famine so no being shall go hungry. That doesn't really sound like hunger. You know, being the Decepticon guy who wants to eat everything. Doesn't really... S kind of sounds counterproductive. But hey, just from my point of view. But yeah, I've been playing with this guy, and he is really fun. He <laughs> he feels very much like the G1 toy, just slightly updated. He is the best kind of basic, in my opinion. So here is his twin-headed alt mode. The only thing I have that's kind of similar is Titan's Return dub, uh, Double Cross, or... Twinferno, whichever one you want to call them. Hey, look, they're twinsies. Or would you would you call it quadruplets? <laughs> and here is his only other Terracon buddy that I have so far. It's Ripper Snapper. They have this, they're sharing the same shade of gray, so that's good. Get to him. We must... Yeah, I like this guy. He's very obviously just a not even folded up robot, just like an I don't know, he's a he's a robot lying on on its back <laughs> with its legs that have become dragon mouths. Like this the lighting. Oh, it's too uh the, it's too bright now. At six thirty in the afternoon. But I'll uh, I'll take these these giant hip mounted cannons off. So you can get a good look. We'll take a good look at the feet at the combiner feet. I like how they are actually molded to resemble blasters. That's really cool. Much better than well uh what's <laughs> Elite Ones. While they are smaller a bit. More than a bit. This looks nothing like a gun or even a weapon. These actually kind of look like double barrel cannons with a foot right there. Up to the side. I like his combination, the color combination of uh, gray, darker gray, and the, the bright pink. Love me, 
Love me bright pink on a robot. Yeah, you can see the tail. Just give you a good 360. You got some sticker and detail right here in red. We go into beast mode articulation. The heads, while they have nice red eyes and actually somewhat not exactly sharp, but they're like eh, they're they're molded teeth. You get two full sets of them, but you've got a hinge up here and a hinge down here. So you can open all the way. You also have a swivel right here and an, another hinge up and down here for transformation. So that's a lot of head articulation. You get a joint there, a joint, actually I'll do this, a joint there, a joint there. It goes all the way that way, all the way down. So you can kind of maneuver his head's however you want. These joint, this joint is ratcheted outwards and downwards, but this upwards and down motion is a bit soft and can't really hold the weight, which thankfully it's not a uh, combined mode joint. These little, joint, these little legs are on a swivel and an in and out butterfly joint. So that's cool. Uh, you also have all basically the combiner chest under here where you can keep the uh, spark, the combination thing. Uh, what's it called? Let me find hunger box. Nope, that's blaster. I don't have hunger's box near me, but you can take it out. I like to keep it in there. Uh, obviously some robot mode fists, but articulation is all ratchety goodness. Oh yeah. Outwards. Bicep. And a elbow. And the claw hinges backwards. And also the whole thing hinges forwards. It's mostly robot mode. We'll we'll talk about that in robot mode. But this thing, Enigma, the Terracon Enigma or whatever, can fit in here, in either of the guns, or in the place it was where I had it stored in beast mode. Basically stored in every mode. I keep it there. And that's really it for the beast mode. Obviously, you have the pegs where you can attach the cannons. You can also attach them like that. You can kind of attach them. Well, it doesn't really fit like that, but yeah. you do have actual pegs right here. For let me grab my closest mm, Titan Master. It's a blast uh, twin cast blaster Titan Master. But you have a peg right there and you have a peg right there so you can have some time well you can kinda have a tiny guy riding a dragon that's cool uh... yeah that's it for basically this mode so next we're going to go into robot mode. To robot mode you stand him up, straighten his legs, fold the uh, mouths, the heads into feet, just straighten them out. You kind of want to split his legs so they're apart. Come to these joints, these uh, legs, spin them around, flip them in. Flip them up so they're tucked away nice and secure like. Do the same thing on the other one. So you have basically a backpack that looks like that. Rotate his arm down. Flip the claw to the back. And you have an arm all done. Do the same thing on the other side. 
and then take the tail. You can push out the pink, but you must you also want to hinge the chest down so you can get at the head. And then just plug this back in and hopefully plug the head in like right in there. And there you have hunger in his robot mode. This may sound a bit crazy, but it kind of feels like they based a lot of Dino, uh, not Dino, Beast Wars transformations off of this guy. You know, just the uh, legs down, arms out, stand up kind of transformation. It's really simple and yet really actually quite fun. But here's Hunger in his robot mode, which this may I may be wrong, but I kind of think the robot mode is the least important thing to Hunger, being it's probably the hardest. Robot mode probably makes it the hardest to eat things, considering he's got a really tiny mouth. <laughs> I don't know. He looks cool to me, definitely. He does not have much of a backpack, which is a good thing. Uh, his arms definitely remind me a bit too much of Silverbolt, because they're basically they basically work the exact same way, which I guess makes sense. But I, I kind of think they've improved on it a bit for Hunger. You'll see what I mean when we get to that. I uh, just gotta I just gotta do uh, Ripper Snapper. I don't feel like <laughs> I don't feel like pausing the video. Do, 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 do. So let's give you a comparison to the other Voyager in Wave 2. Here's how he looks. Zoom out. Here's how he looks with Alita 1. You know, robot mode, I still kind of... I like to th I like to go with Alita 1 because she looks really good as a robot. But, you know, Hunger is not a bad robot in his own right. Like, he is very much the G1 toy updated for modern times. And that's not a bad thing, in my opinion. Like, it's kind of like what Titan's Return was doing for a bit. Like, well, for the whole, actually, all of Titan's Return was basically the G1 toy, the like G1 you know, character model sent through, like, a Deluxe or Voyager temp, like, you know? Like, they're just updated modern versions of the same character, but, are basically of the toys, but, hmm. I don't know. When it comes to the, the limb bots, though, I find they're a bit too generic, I, genericized, if that's even a word. Like, they're all just remolds of each other, well, this guy actually looks like a brand new mold. I'm, I don't know who would you remold Hunger into. I can't think of anyone that, off the top of my head. But here, here are the two Terracon buddies again in their robot mode. Give you a good shot of that. I, I really, I really love a hot, like a, a pink helmet. It looks hilarious to me. Like pink helmet, pink face, silver visor. For some reason that looks really cool. Too much pink energy is dangerous. Uh, he's got a Decepticon insignia on each shoulder, which, weirdly enough, one is the old rub, rub sign style, and one is the just basic purple outline and silver style. I don't know why he has two different styles of Decepticon insignias. Wouldn't it have made sense to just have one style? I don't know. But you do have the uh, tail showing up as some chest plate detailing. Uh, you get his fists revealed in this mode, which are just gray, which... Why wouldn't you make them the same color as the arm? I don't know. Unless he's... I... I don't know what he's wearing on his arms that make his arms darker gray. Oh, and you... Well, now you see the hips. There's not really much else that's revealed other than the head. Articulation. We got the same ratcheting. 360, in and out. 
You do have a bicep swivel, you have a 90 degree elbow, and you have that if you want it. I really, I appreciate the fact that they actually added the claw as a cover for the hand, so you can't see the hand in, like, beast mode. Like, for that, he wins over Silverbolt, in my opinion. And the fact that this guy doesn't have to look like just a dragon with a robot underneath it. Like the, It may look like a robot lying on its back, but I'll take that 9 times out of 10 over a plane with a robot lying underneath it. Uh, hips. Forward on the uh, very soft ratchet. Or faux ratchet, I guess. You can kind of hear it. Outward, you can hear that one a lot more. I, I tend to keep his feet here, because this is just really, looks really bad, so. Thankfully, the it's not a uh, Combiner Wars issue where the hip ratchets are, are too far apart. This actually looks kind of natural. Yo, I would not fuck with this guy. Because he could kick me in the face with dragon mouths. That is terrifying enough indeed. Oh, I just noticed he has a bit of a baby blue on his shoulders. The only bit of blue on this guy in this mode. Uh, thigh swivel. Knee bend goes all the way. But his leg doesn't go farther than that. But you can, it's, it's on a double joint as well. So, you get a very nice, uh, deep knee bend. Looks really cool. And it has a little stopper right there to go forward. And obviously, the mouth has become the foot, so you retain all the same posability. Side to side, forwards and backwards, all the way backwards due to transformation. Let's see how well he, how stable he is if I try and... Oh, right, and the head can nod, nod up and down a bit. It can go side to side a bit. I don't think it's... I, I th uh, it might be a ball joint. I can't tell. But it does do the full swivel. So, decent amount of head range. But he can... He can do something dynamic like that. I don't know what he's doing there. He can do the full Van Dams, and also he can become a Combiner Torso. So to do that, we're going to want to tuck the head away, and we're going to want to pull kind of hard like that to get out the abominous head, and then get these out of the way. And rotate it all the way up and leave it for now. I'm going to put the uh, Enigma back in his chest piece. It just tabs in. Oh, and I didn't mention, but you can put the cannons on his arms for shoulder blasters. Ro we'll work on the hips, so rotate the hips. Yeah. And then fold the tail up. Fold the claw. Actually, you want to make sure just the looks like that. And then rotate. Do the same thing on the other side. Just get the foot out, down. Uh, wait, nope. Hmm. Huh. I'm trying to... I think it goes like this, but... Yeah, because you want the chest piece in front. So, unhinge the chest. Well, actually, you don't need to do that right now. Excuse me, I'm... I'm getting ahead of myself. You want to fold the mouth together and then fold them into the arm. Or, into the leg. Fold it all the way in so it... It, it kind of soft lock, lo soft locks, and then you want to. Uh, how do I, 
you want the joint to look like that and you want it to peg in right up here so that pegs in there and then these two pegs tab in right down there so this is a very solid connection oh and I completely forgot for robot mode you want to flip this panel up because it it hides the combiner joint but for combined mode you want it down do the same thing on the other side it tabs in and then you just hinge it down so it tabs in there all set to go we flip up the torso it's on a double hinge actually you want to get these first you want to get these uh, feet out of the way and they actually t tab in right there but for some reason this one just doesn't tab in at all like it, it's a complete pain in the ass but that one actually tabs in and this one just won't stay in there I've got it to stay in there I don't know how but you want to then tab this piece into the neck and rotate up his little antenna bunny ears It'll, there, it's it's stayed in there for now. There you have uh, Hunger. When did I bump the camera? I don't know. Hunger in his torso mode. Where did I? Ah, oh, jeez. Do I want to do that? No. I'll save the full Abominus for its own video. But here you go. He's got. He's he's definitely a Decepticon. I'll say that, freaking four Decepticon insignias. But, I don't know, Abominus looks really cool. It's definitely a solid torso, nothing's loose on it. The only things that could be loose are the tail and the fists. Yeah. Look at that head, it looks, whoa. It does have an air of a Superion head. It, they were definitely inspired by Superion when they were designing this, although... It definitely feels a lot more secure and solid than Superion did. I like how they give the illusion that it's a solid torso when it, when you really you can see completely through it. I I like the amount of pink right up front. That's cool with the yellow and blue crotch section, crotch armor. I don't know. And he has these weird spirally bits that are on his helmet and his mm, midsection. Uh, for articulation, the head does swivel. Doesn't nod up and down. I like the yellow visor though, that's really cool. And the, again, the pink face. The disapproving scowl is just like, mm, I will eat you. And you've got the hip. Forwards, outwards. Swivel. If you want, you could use the knee, I guess. You can. And then you can also use the combiner knee for some dual knee action. But yeah. That's, that's it for Hunger. Of the two Voyagers in Wave 2, 2 to two, Tooney Tuesday. I definitely, I definitely think you should look for hunger. Like you should go out and find hunger. Like if you want another combiner, especially another Decepticon combiner, I, he's definitely a recommendation. He's a he's a solid all around. He's an all around solid toy with three modes that are fun to interchange between, and are each solid in their own way. If I had any faults, uh. The hip joint, like the, uh, yeah, the, the hip joints for robot mode are a bit too weak. I have yet to have, have him fall over, but they just feel like they won't support him for a long time. Like, they're eventually going to weaken, get weaker than they already are. Uh, well, oh, I could mention that there's silver and, the silver and red but knobs and stuff and paint apps on his chest that's that's new in this mode as well but yeah then nothing else really gets revealed the 
Anyway, solid torso mode. Uh, <laughs> dragon mode. All I have to say is it's solid and f actually fun to play with. I've been, and that that's kind of the best thing you can say about a toy is it's fun to play with. In fact, I didn't actually even recognize notice that there were uh, pegs on the feet of the dragon mode until I was transforming into Gravine mode and I'm like like looking at this like what how does that go oh that goes there well wow, I like that's the kind of thing <laughs> it shouldn't be an Easter egg but somehow it was I'd say he's not quite a gold star but he's very close it's like I'd, cl I'd say B plus, close to an A, if I were giving him a grade. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Until next time, keep it weird.